Early 2024 has not been the kindest to Xbox. Signs of going multiplat and rumors of internal debate that there be no red line regarding which games see other platforms. Reports that devs question why they even support the platform. Horrible core business sales figures only to be stitched together by the short-lived comparative boost of the APK merger. Closure of studios who did what they were told and even received a claim but yet were axed. Rumored restructuring of Game Pass that could potentially be heftier than enthusiasts of the platform may be willing to stomach. All these things plague the Xbox brand and there seems to be no clear path in sight, except in comes Hellblade 2. Hellblade 2 released a launch trailer today and I will say there are portions of the gameplay and presentation that look a lot more solid than shown previously. That said, there are still potential issues that could harm this game's success. And because of Microsoft's less tolerant attitude as of late towards Xbox, one can only hope that the game overcomes such hurdles because Xbox really needs this W. What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K of Geeks, Cloud Dosage, and Hard Knock Digital Culture. Back again with another episode of The Spiel. This is where, off the cuff, I rant about the biggest topic in gaming and boy oh boy oh boy do we have a special one for you today but before we get into all that do us a huge favor please hit that like button hit that subscribe button and rock those bells for notifications please and i want to thank everybody this whole month of may our support has gone up significantly we want to thank your memberships we want to thank your support of us on audio all that great stuff um it means so much to us continue to support us and we will definitely do more for you in return we promise all right with that being said let's get into today's video which is titled why xbox needs a hellblade 2 win for its survival i want to talk about a couple of things i want to talk about first uh, the developers trust on why they need this look when they close Tango Gameworks and Arcane, now some people may say, you know what? We understand why they closed Arcane because Arcane made Redfall, but I don't think that looking at it that way can be surmised that simply, you know what I mean? Look, uh, uh, um, Redfall was a product of the mismanagement that Xbox has under the guides of Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer looked at this game where I think any other gaming executive, you would have had Yoshida, Jack Tritton, uh, Peter Moore, Sean Layton. I mean, it, people from Nintendo, if anybody else would have looked at this game, they would have said, you know what? Let's talk to staff. Something just seems amiss here. This doesn't feel like it's stitched together real well. And they wouldn't have in the words of phil spencer scored this internally double digits higher than it actually fell down with users and metacritic that's insane so i, I the develop the the developers excuse me by accounts from uh jason schreier didn't even want this game to release this was something that zenimax had put out there because they wanted to pursue games as a service they were doing an abysmal job at it it was being shelved or whatever and in comes phil spencer and looking for content for Game Pass, says, okay, this'll do, and I actually slapped this $70 price tag on it. So I don't blame Arcane um, for this, Arcane Austin. They, they, they've made great titles before, or critically acclaimed titles before. They've helped on Dishonored, which was critically acclaimed. Um, I think that this was Phil's fault that this abysmal launch even happened. That being said, that's one thing. I can argue about Arcane all I want. That's one thing. What cannot be argued is what happened with Tango Gameworks. Tango Gameworks, the maker arguably of the best game that Xbox has seen to date, was let go after they were asked to create a game that, you know, kept people engaged in Game Pass, which it did. They boasted 3 million players and a lot of most of them were through game pass and you know it was critically acclaimed and reasonably it had it, it, you could surmise it had decent sales for a double a title right so why were they let go because matt booty said himself 
they need more games with more prestige that you know don't run the bill up high i'm paraphrasing but that's essentially what he said wouldn't that be hi-fi rush but again if you don't have that same critical eye that would have told you to leave redfall on the shelf of course this isn't a surprise right so the developers that you've absorbed they don't they can't trust you they can't trust you to step in and in and, and put things on the shelf that need to be put on the shelf as arcane austin wanted you to do with redfall they can't trust you and telling them what you need them fulfilling that and them still having a job the next day right in comes in hellblade 2 because this is a smaller game this is not the triple a game that a lot of us feel like that we were persuaded it would be like they would take the original one and and and, and bolster it up more to be more of a triple a game no this is still within the same realm with with better graphics it's my co-host of mm2k gaming cold blood i think accurately depicts this as quite possibly a tech demo a tech demo of of unreal engine the latest unreal engine and all this luminate lighting and all this other stuff and they want to show that off to you through hellblade even though they backed off their their claims or their their promise of 60 frames per second yet again and is that necessarily uh ninja theory's fault again i i, I don't know i don't think so i don't think when ninja theory was absorbed that they thought they would just be making prettier games that weren't fulfilling the promise of you know yeah we're really going to be behind the studio and really help them do what they want to do now again i'm not saying that this was developed by sachi nadella and amy hood and then they just did the coding no but you know I, i'm hard pressed to believe that they the output was what they expected after they were absorbed they got the support that they were expecting from microsoft after they were absorbed and you kind of get that feeling because when they and and and, and they don't sound confident of, of it either because they were just recently on kind of funny post what happened to tango gameworks and the, they were asked specifically and quite directly you know do you feel comfortable in the release of this game and your stability there under microsoft and the studio had completely jumped around the question now again he can't speak for the execs or whatever he can't speak on that but to say you know what we understand things in business happen but we are really confident in the support that we've gotten from xbox and, and we really believe that the best decisions will be made something like that wasn't rehearsed or anything like that hmm interesting or wasn't even said or handed towards so basically if the talent is continuously purged because big daddy microsoft just isn't happy with the end result the numbers then we got a problem i want to show you guys something there's something there's this is there's a reason why i'm saying even though i was impressed by the latest trailer much more than i was anything else i was shown it is a smaller title um and there are some red flags that there's rumors about how long it is or whatever and then there's this in particular that kind of like concerns me um this is the steam database charts that shows you the top selling games now if you look at this title um which is a brand new game sinua saga hellblade 2 it's bumped up a little bit particularly from where it was at last week at 216 it's now at 42nd but when you compare it to ghost of tsushima which i think is similarly priced and the fact that ghost of tsushima is a four-year-old game at that versus a brand new title like ghost of tsushima for like a week or so if my memory serves me correct they have been charting in the top 10 in pre-orders for a while at the time of this writing this video i mean this game gets released in less than 24 hours now, some of you may say, well, Moss, that's because of Game Pass. There's a lot of people getting it on Game Pass. But you can't argue that either because, look, all hints have pointed to that Starfield, the game that was blowing it up on Game Pass, uh, what did Satya say it was the most engagements ever due to a game in a single day, on a single Thursday after a friend's repeat, whatever litmus he used. He said that, right? What, uh, what, what do we surmise now? That Game Pass per Matt Piscatella Game Pass only grew 1%.
in 2023. That's after the greatest, the, the biggest RPG of a lifetime was released, day and date and air. And then we could tell that the substan I mean the 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 long term sales of the game and the long term engagement of the game in Game Pass or singularly is not where Microsoft or Xbox wants it to be. That's why there's arguments like we said in our intro prior that Microsoft is really debating with the Xbox team talking about we want to put more games on more platforms and we really don't want to have a red line because relying on this platform and this ecosystem itself, Game Pass isn't what it, where it needs to be and individual souls aren't where it needs to be. And is that Ninja? I mean, if Ninja Theory ultimately puts out a great game, great double A game, like Hi-Fi Rush, that impresses people, that does engagement numbers on Game Pass, that does decently on sales. If the numbers are not high enough, will Big Daddy Microsoft cut them? I think the answer is yeah. An, a, a, an, an esteemed studio like Ninja Theory is now under the gun, despite the success this game might have if the success is nominal. They, they don't get any respect. They don't have any chance, right? But this gets deeper than that. It's deeper than developers because yeah, I mean, yeah, the developers are important because if you don't get to the developers and, and get gain their trust, they talk amongst each other. The ones that haven't been absorbed with the ones that have been absorbed and the ones that haven't been absorbed, you're watching this. Do you think that they're running to the, to the docks now to be, you know, jump on the, the Microsoft boat? No, absolutely not. Well, let's just say they were, let's play devil's advocate and say they weren't bothered by them. Well, then you got the gamers that could throw a monkey wrench into your plans. What am I talking about? Well, a lot of gamers were split between their support of the APK deal and their lack of support for the APK deal. Um, and a lot of us that did not support the APK deal, we ended up being right that this was going to cause a lot of heartburn for Xbox gamers, whether you like the new direction or not because Big Daddy Microsoft was coming to get their $75 billion plus for this deal, especially if Starfield didn't land. If their legacy content without ABK didn't do the job with such a significant purchase, they would be doing something drastic. Then on top of that, there's just a the whole consolidation thing. So now when you have these big conglomerates buying up all this talent, there has to be talent within the gaming industry that's purged away forever meaning there were positions that were once there that helped to create these cool awesome games that we enjoy that will never be back again there are people from tango that will never see a job in gaming again there are people that were let go within abk within bethesda even earlier in the year when you have these big consolidation um actions people get purged positions get purged forever it's different from a market correction. A market correction means, okay, we've over-evaluated, so now we need less, but we may need more in the future. When you purge a redundancy, you're telling the industry, we don't need this at all. Get rid of them. Because there are multiple positions where if they were still separate entities, it would make sense to have multiple CFOs, multiple uh, studio heads. You see what I'm saying? There are some positions after a consolidation that will go away forever. When it comes to just a market correction, maybe we slim down a bit for now, but we can always extend later, if that makes sense. Okay. I know I don't want to get too much into business because cold blood and some of y'all tell me hey, this is too much for my head, which, which I do need to pay attention to this, but I understand we got to do things in progression. All right, fine. So with that said, we have the consolidation that's a problem. And then we have the mismanagement that I talked about as a problem. Even if they didn't purge the talent, they don't know what to do with the talent. They don't know how to look out for the talent, guard the talent, support the talent appropriately. And that's why we're getting the mess that we're getting so far. And even if Hellblade 2 comes out like Hi-Fi Rush to be a great game in the eyes of many, Xbox doesn't have the talent to put forth a good plan to say, okay, even if this falls a little short under our numbers, let's do this. Here goes our plan 
to to get the numbers better before microsoft just doesn't trust filling them anymore they don't trust that vision anymore so if the numbers fall short even though if they're good if they fall short because they just made this massive uh, uh, absorption of 75 billion dollars worth 75 billion dollars satya and amy hood is gonna say no we don't trust it this is what we want to do we are now taking over the driver's seat and if that happens believe you me this is going to impact game pass now hear me out gamers who who like the direction microsoft is going into even if you like the direction this could have an impact on game pass like we said in the intro there are rumors going on around and i wouldn't dismiss these rumors i mean they're not etched in stone but i would be paying keen attention to them that you're going to have another tier of game pass and this is going to be a tier that fits into the model that adjusts for call of duty possibly and likely coming day and date into game pass and for those of you that adore game pass because of cheap gaming if that is the case you better believe that this tier is not going to be cheap it's going to burn and it's going to affect your engagement of game pass all right and so with all this stuff potentially happening if this falls apart if game pass now is no longer as attractive as it once was if all the legacy games then are no longer trusted in in sachi and amy only trust abk because they you know they're bringing in the big bucks now and all the legacy stuff that phil brought in you know or phil you know scoped out and and persuaded them to buy if they're not trustworthy then you could see a radical shift from xbox to purely microsoft gaming it just looks like a refigured publisher of abk games serious dent if not ratification or eradication of game pass that's it from your boy let me know what you think about all this because i'm hopeful that ninja theory can meet those margins because these are crazy margins not only do they want them to, to do well in game pass but they got to sell well too so hopefully they can do it looking at steam hopefully it boosts up to the top you know it's up there right behind ghost of tsushima i hate i mean they, ninja theory and with this hellblade series it isn't for me but i hate to see critically acclaimed talent go to the wayside this is not good for the industry this doesn't make me feel good at all hopefully this can be avoided and they meet the margins we'll see because the game releases tomorrow we'll see what the reception is over the long term but what do you think about all this you think um ninja theory is at risk or do you expect the game to just blow the roof off the mother sucker <laughs> and uh do great let me know in the comment section below and until next time check out those links to follow me though they'll lead you to the bra i'm um, they'll lead you to pts network geeks hard knock digital culture cloud dosage until next time have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.